costs. Small businesses have been waiting for the government to get their rent, their rent subsidy program right, and they have still failed to do so. Uh, even though the, the government has known about the problems with its rent subsidy program for months and that it was expiring in September, they still tabled a flawed bill that will fail to help businesses that need it the most. Last week, they tabled a bill on Monday, moved it on Wednesday, rushed it through with uh, very little uh, debate. Uh, we, as the opposition, uh, know that it's important to get these aid measures out, so we did not unduly delay the bill. But when you rush things through, and things aren't thought through carefully, mistakes happen, and that's what's happened in, with this bill. Even though they've known about the problems for months, and they, you know, they, we all know they prorogued the House in August, they didn't come in uh, prepared in September with proper, well-thought-out replacement uh, legislation. They just dumped a bill, urged Parliament to rush it through, and now this bill will require small businesses that are on the brink of uh, collapse amid this pandemic they will not be eligible for the new rent subsidy program unless they have gone back and, and been able to pay their rent ahead of time and then get reimbursed afterward. So the minister has admitted that this is a problem, but because they rushed it through, uh, it's too late for her to amend her own bill. It's going to have to go to the Senate and perhaps come back to the House. So uh, even though they had months to prepare a proper bill that was well thought out and, um, and, and planned properly, they failed to do so. And it's small businesses that are desperately waiting for the details of these aid measures that are going to pay the price.